Yeah, so uh, Fanconi anemia is uh, rare, but not that rare uh, genetic condition. Um, and for which the, the, the patient, they will develop a bone marrow failure and they have a high risk to develop uh, uh, MDS and uh, AML. So this is important for them to monitor those patients and uh, uh, beyond that to, to understand how the mechanisms uh, occur that, that, that make the transformation to, to AML uh, MDS. And this is important as well because uh, uh, it's a kind of paradigm of uh, the, the, the secondary mechanism of transformation in patients uh, with that or other predisposition. So to do that, we have uh, uh, first, uh, starting from a, a cohort, the French national cohort of patients with Fanconi anemia, we have sampled their uh, bone marrow regularly because once a year we uh, monitor their bone marrow by uh, cytogenetics and morphology. And we, with their consent, we have used those uh, samples uh, with genomic approaches and uh, functional approaches as well to understand uh, which were those mechanisms. So first, uh, we noticed that there is a, a, a clear um, mutational pattern in, in those patients. Uh, in the, 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 the bone marrow cells from those patients. And uh, as you know, there is a, a constitutional uh, chromosomal instability in those patients. So they mutate their cell by doing unbalanced translocation. And uh, this is not random. They accumulate those unbalanced translocation that uh, lead to copy number abnormality. So they gain or they lose some part of their chromosomes. And especially of certain chromosomes, chromosome one, the long arm of the chromosome 1, 1Q, uh, deletion of chromosome 7Q in that disease like uh, in others, and uh, as well um, uh, the, the, the duplication 3Q and uh, deletion or duplication of chromosome uh, 21 on uh, the RUX1 tumor suppressor genes. And they will accumulate this uh, with, with a certain order, 1Q first and then the other. And we can see that because we, we make those studies longitudinal, and we have done a single set study as well. So we know that 1Q occurs first, and by uh, combining these approaches with um, uh, morphological study, pathologic study, we have seen that the 1Q uh, does not create bone morph, uh, uh, leukemia per se, but it creates a clonal hematopoiesis. So they have a first stage of clonal hematopoiesis that can stay for very long, and maybe some of them will never transform. But uh, in those uh, patients, some of them will transform with the accumulation of the other uh, abnormalities. And then we have mimicked uh, that in mice uh, by doing uh, transgenic mice and uh, by doing several setup, experimental setup, that show that clearly this 1Q uh, uh, sustains the clonal hematopoiesis. And how it works? It is because there is another expression of one gene which is located on chromosome 1Q. So just before, because you have one or two copies more of 1Q, it over slight, very slightly, subtly overexpress uh, a gene called MDM4, and MDM4 is the inhibitor of 53. So you inhibit, P53, which is overexpressed in the Fanconi anemia patient before they transform. And it allows the cell to, to survive, and we have clearly demonstrated that. So, starting from that, you, 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 you can uh, think uh, we, that we can monitor the patient by studying those events. So first we uh, detect those who get the 1Q, and once they have this, we will not transplant them, but we, we keep them under the eyes. We, we follow them regularly because they are at risk to, to transform again. And it's a transform that will accumulate other lesions. So we detect uh, with uh, as much sensitivity as possible the other lesions. And uh, now what we are doing is to, to try really single cell approaches, uh, single cell RNA sequencing on this patient and to, to very well decipher the, the, the different type of uh, signature, thinking that First, we, we should be able to understand what is uh, happening very uh, as a fine mechanisms. And second, uh, that we could use those tools, single cell tools, to, to monitor the patients on the long term.